And welcome in to a special edition Blue Streaks Halftime Show interview. I'm your sports director, Logan Potosky, and sitting down with us for this interview is a very special guest. She's a guard for the John Carroll women's basketball team. It's my pleasure to bring in Hallie Landis. Hallie, thanks so much for being here. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. So right before we talk about your journey with John Carroll, I have to start with the beginning of your college basketball journey. You were originally at Division II Ashland, and then last season, you ended up making the move to John Carroll. How did you ultimately decide on JCU? I decided on JCU because when I came for my visit, it kind of just felt like home. Um, my dad went here, and I've always just heard awesome things about John Carroll academically and you know, on the court. So it kind of just felt like the perfect fit for me. And that's great to hear, just that kind of great fit like even before you came here just knew that was in the back of your mind and ultimately coming here it's been great to have you and you mentioned that your father went here yes <laughs> I want to make sure I have this correct so I know there's quite a few family connections so it's your father your great uncle your great great uncle and your great grandfather so all of them here yes at John Carroll what does it mean for you to carry on that family legacy oh uh, it's really special to me I mean just to know that so many generations of my family have been here and to kind of carry on that legacy is just really not something a lot of people can do. So it's just special for me. And you are also pretty familiar with the Northeast Ohio area. Yes. Grew up in Chardon, played for the Hilltoppers there in Chardon, Ohio. And throughout that journey of high school, even going into college, you've been through quite a lot. You yeah. dealt with three knee surgeries, two for your left ACL. What have you learned from these experiences that you've taken into your time here? I think definitely perseverance has been a big one. I mean, some days were just kind of so hard that it was like I could give up and I could, you know, go back and just focus on school. But at the same time, it was like, what would I do, you know, with all my spare time? I just, I love basketball and I knew that I didn't want to stop no matter what. So, and I had a huge support system too. Like my teammates, my coaches, my trainers, my parents, everyone was just so encouraging. And that really like just kept me going. And even on days that I was like down and the days were, you know, it just seemed too much. It was like, they just kept me positive and I just kept, you know, doing my PT, rehabbing, doing everything I could to just get back out on the court because, you know, you only have so long to be an athlete. So I just really wanted to make the most of my years here. You certainly have in your, now you're in your second season with the Blue Streaks and it sounds like as well you have a great support system mm -hmm. in your corner. And just something I find impressive myself is usually you look at football, even basketball, a lot of these players, when they get quite a bit of construction on their knees they kind of end up wearing a brace or a sleeve or something but you don't yeah um I I started with a brace but I honestly felt like it just made me think about it more and I really felt like playing without one was the better just like choice for me because when I was wearing it it just felt like it was like weighing my whole leg down so and then I did play with the sleeve last year but this year I kind of feel like you know I'm just better off just playing with nothing <laughs> just running all over the floor yeah. don't need anything holding you back mm -hmm. that sure is what it sounds like so now just talking about this season you're through 18 games coming off of a close win at Mount Union yes you're currently second on the team averaging just under 10 points per game that's 9.9 .9, really really <laughs> close to double figures and you lead the team with 31 made three so far mm -hmm. what has been working well for you specifically this season mm. I think that you know it was tough at first because not a lot of us played at all last year and let alone together. So it really is like a brand new team. And I think at first it was kind of hard to like figure out kind of what everyone's strength is and what works the best for everyone. But as the season has gone on, like playing with these girls has just become so much easier because now we know like I know Kellen likes to slip the pick and roll so then I can lob it to her or like on a drift like Jay will drive and I'll stand in the corner and be ready to shoot so I think just like our chemistry and coming together and kind of just working out the kinks from the beginning of the year has helped a lot and I think we're finally starting to come together on offense. And it certainly seems like guys starting to come together at the right time. And thinking about that, too, a lot of graduating seniors from last year's second round of the NCAA tournament team, only two seniors on the team now, Kalen and Jalen. Mm -hmm. And you guys really seem like you're starting to build that rapport with a younger group 
of girls on the team. And then just talking more about you specifically, have to go back a few games to a rather clutch performance that you had. Back during winter break, you guys took a trip down to Florida for a tournament. The men's team also went down to Florida for a tournament as well. You guys hit a game against Maine Maritime. You made two game-winning free throws. I think there was like under a second to go. Mm -hmm. It capped off a career performance, a career-high 23 points for you in that game. Regarding that game, your head coach, Beth Andrews, said about you, She's our shooter. Yeah. What does it mean to have that kind of trust already from your head coach? It just is a lot of hard work paying off. I mean, countless hours in the gym shooting over and over again. I I said it before in um, the News Herald interview, but I was not a three-point shooter in high school at all. And one of the best things that came out of my knee surgeries is I really – had to hone in and focus on my shot because all I was doing was just standing and shooting over and over and over again. And it, you know, in the moment it sucks because you can't really like play live basketball, but I think in the end it's really paid off for me and turned me into a better shooter. So it's really awesome to have, you know, Beth kind of backing me up on that. It's just a special feeling. So not just slashing the lane Every time, essentially turning a negative in terms of an injury into a positive, Mm -hmm. finding your shot from the outside. And in terms of your role for this season, it's been an interesting season in terms of your playing time specifically because you had eight of the first nine games this season you were on the bench, and now you've started eight Mm -hmm. of the last nine games. How have you adjusted to this role change? I don't think it's been too much of a change. I like being six man and I like starting too. So I think it just depends on the game, kind of what we need more. Um, yeah, just really whatever helps the team the most. And that's a great mentality to have, whatever you need to do Mm -hmm. to help the team win. John Carroll women's basketball guard Hallie Landys is our guest on the Blue Streaks Halftime Show. So we've talked a lot about on the hardwood. Just going to go off of the basketball court a little bit here. You're currently a junior here at John Carroll. Yes. Pursuing a degree in criminology and psychology. Do you have any plans in mind for after college? Yes. um, My hope is to be... In the FBI, um, that's wow. kind of end goal. But um, I also like working at my parents' business too. So you know, kind of just play it out and see what happens. <laughs> Very cool. So definitely have to have the smarts and uh, anticipation, kind of like you do in the basketball court. Yes, <laughs> looking to get into potentially that secret agent type of stuff. Well, best of luck to you on that front. Thank you. And what do you enjoy doing when you're not on the basketball court? When I'm not on the court, I like to hang out with my roommates or go home because it's a close drive (laughs) Um, and see my dog, Topper, or hang out with my sisters. Yeah. Now, I can't help but ask, your dog's name's Topper. Does that have anything to do with Chardon Hill Toppers? <laughs> it does. So we got a puppy last January, and you know my dad got to pick the name, and he's a big Chardon guy, so he thought Topper was the perfect fit. I think that is very fitting <laughs> yes. in terms of where you're from and everything like mm-hmm. that. So that's a little bit off of the floor. Now we're just going to kind of go into the final segment here of our halftime interview. I want to thank you once again for being with us. I call it Fast Favorite, so just... Five quick topics. You just give me your favorite in each. Okay. <laughs> All right. Sounds good. Firstly, favorite food? Ooh, spaghetti. Favorite show? New Girl. Favorite movie? Any of the Avengers movies. I tell you what, that first part of COVID, I knocked out one movie a night, over 20 of them. Oh, yeah, me too. That I watched just them something. in order. <laughs> How about that? Yep. Great minds think alike oh, yeah. on that front. Favorite music artist? Justin Bieber. And finally, your favorite all-time basketball player? Sue Bird. All righty. And she just retired recently. A she fantastic did. career in the WNBA. Mm-hmm. So that will just about do it. Hallie, thanks so much for taking the time to be with us. And best of luck the rest of the season. Yeah, thank you for having me. <laughs> for sure. That was John Carroll guard Hallie Landys on the Blue Streaks Halftime Show. And coming up, the rest of today's coverage of our matchup between your John Carroll Blue Streaks and the Capital Comets, right here on your home for the Blue Streaks, WJCU 88.7.